you'd be surprised and maybe you wouldn't how many folk are just dealing with dealing with stuff yes. you know yeah. Yeah, i appreciate it pastor thank yeah. you he's yeah. coming along yeah. good though he's really doing good right right he right. really is there ain't nothing but god yeah i'm here to say we know Amen. That, Amen. 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 the lord that, that all these things we're talking about as bad as they perhaps are they could be they would be worse that could be they yes. Would be, yes you know so we're going to pick up here uh tonight this evening as we continue in our lesson, the, the Christian believer and depression and uh, how a negative spirit can produce and does produce negative energy. And we'll get to it in a few moments, the signs uh, of one who has um, negative energy. And we wanna begin by the uh, passage of scripture, Proverbs chapter 12, uh, verse 25 the New King James Version, Proverbs chapter 12, uh, verse 25, the uh, New King James translation. Who's gonna read that? Somebody is right there on the screen. I'll read it. Okay. Um, anxiety in the heart of man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. Amen. 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 Thank you, Denise. And yeah. that's a good place. That's a good place to begin, because um, uh, we know that actually a heart that's filled with anxiety and 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 and, and worries and stress uh, is 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 the culprit or that leads into depression. And and mm -hmm. Jesus said in Matthew chapter eleven. That's another passage. Matthew chapter eleven, verses twenty eight to thirty. Uh, the New King James, that's coming up. Uh, Matthew, there it is. Uh, someone who hasn't read, want to read that? Yes. Okay. Come to me, all, wait a minute, I can't. All who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Rest. Okay. Uh -huh. rest. I will give you rest. <laughs> Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am learn from me, for I am gentle and wait a minute, wait a minute. Now I got too big and I can't see it. Um okay. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. 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 Thank favorite. you, Sister Eleanor. Now we're talking about the Christian depression. And, and if you have been in a state of oppression, we've already uh, found out we're in good company. And remember we said earlier that in, 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 in the Bible, there, there are stories, there are uh, uh, accounts of where people express depression. And we found out that Moses uh, experienced depression. David experienced depression in Psalm 51. Um, Elijah experienced depression. Job uh, had uh, bouts with depression. Jonah uh, had uh, bouts with depression. Naomi in the book of Ruth yes. suffered from depression. So uh, we, 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 we found out because this is, probably, I think this is our third, third part of this study, uh, that a negative spirit can indeed lead to depression. Yes. And spending time with negative people can be the fastest way to ruin a good mood when you're around negative people. Uh, yes. because their, their pessimistic outlook and gloomy attitude uh, can, can, can rub out or decrease our motivation and change the way we feel when you're around those kinds of people. That's and, right. and, and, and allowing a negative person to dictate or to control your emotions or my emotions give them, gives them too much power in our lives. When we allow yeah. folks to just, uh, it, it's like stealing your joy, uh, yeah. taking the air yeah. out of your balloon. You know, you were having mm -hmm. a good time until he or she walked in. And then everybody got quiet and, you know, everybody started whispering and, and that kind of thing. And, and we don't want folk. I mean, sometimes without thinking, we allow people 
to have more control over us than the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Without yeah. thinking, yeah. you're like, absolutely right. To have more control, and I can just imagine using sanctified imagination. The Lord said, "I wish I could control you uh, more than <laughs> you allow that person to control you." I you know, know that's right. And 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 stealing your joy. And then there's another uh, uh, passage that we've read before, Proverbs chapter twenty, uh, uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verses twenty-four and twenty-five. Um, uh, it's on the screen there. Uh, is that Proverbs? Yeah. Someone read read that. Proverbs twenty-two. Uh, I, I've got some that I've got. Don't befriend angry people. Verse twenty-four. Is that the same thing? No. Proverbs, I've got I've got Proverbs 22 of uh, 24 and 25. Is that it on the screen? What I have is yeah. Yeah, that's 12. The, it's no, Proverbs 12, 12, 25. Okay. I think you may have Where misread that. I'll try and get the other version. Proverbs what? 22. 22, 24, and 25. Like, don't befriend an angry person or yeah, associate with hot tempered people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one is that, y'all? Which one is that? Do you have? You just this. What's I've on got Proverbs screen? chapter twenty-two, verses twenty-four and twenty-five. Yeah, but what's on the screen is uh, Proverbs twelve. Okay, 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 okay. I see it now. I wanted yeah. twenty-two. I got you. I got you. I got you. so Proverbs twenty-two, and that's Proverbs twelve on the screen. That's why it's different. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Proverbs twenty-two, verses okay. twenty-four and twenty-five says. Verse 24, don't befriend angry people or associate with hot-tempered people. Verse 25 of Proverbs 22 says, or you will learn to be like them and yeah. endanger your soul. Yes. So the Bible says we don't want to really associate. Doesn't mean ignore them to be mean, to act nasty, but don't associate them. We don't want to get so close in relationship with that kind of person that that exude a uh, negative uh, energy exudes from, for lack of better words, that now it's affecting and impacting us. So God mm -hmm. says the best way that Bible says the best way to deal with that is not to allow that person to get but so close to you. Because look, uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you let them get too close, it's going to corrupt you. It's going to affect yes, you. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I want to look at some of the signs. Of, of, of negative energy in a person. And I think I started last week, I'm gonna put it up again. The first sign that I have here, what are some of the signs of a negative, of negative energy in a person? And that's number one, they find fault with everyone and everything. Did I say that last yeah. week? Yes, yes. yes. They find fault with everyone and every everything. That's uh, one of the signs of, of, of negative energy in a person. That was number one. But mm -hmm. number two, uh, the, the negative person will try to bring you down with them or to cause you to be just like them. And that's why we just read that uh, passage. says you'll become just like them. They, the negative person or negative people, try to bring you down with it to their level, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess I could say, have you ever had an encounter with someone who, when even things seem to be fine between both of you, they managed to deflate your happiness anyway. I mean, you were you were in yeah. a good mood, but uh, 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 they want you to be where they are in 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 in, in a negative, down, uh, uh, depressive, uh, doubtful. Now, here's yes, please. Yeah, I think sometimes we underestimate the impact that negative people have, and we we think that we can sometimes change that person or get them to be, you know, be, you know, to turn the what towards us. But in other, in most instances, if we're not careful, we'll start turning more like them. Yes. The you know yes. what I mean? So I think we have to really be mindful uh, of that, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and really point, no, you're, you're so correct because we have, it may not have been everyone's experience, but, some of us have experienced when a person used to be lively and very friendly towards you. Now, when you're around you, they, they, their attitude has changed and, and, and they're not the same jovial spirit. And oftentimes that's because 
somebody's been in their ear. They've yeah. been around certain people that have rubbed off on them. And, 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 and now that same uh, uh, negative energy has been passed on to them. And now you pick it up. And yeah. you say, wow, you know, she, she, or he's changed. They used to be fun to hang around. Now, I mean, every time you talk, they, they down and, you know, everything's, you know, it, it's not good and it's not fun to be with them anymore. So, Amen. so with that kind of person, uh, you, 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 you really don't want to be with them like you used to. But there's a third thing, not only that they find fault with everyone, talk about signs of negative energy being passed on from a negative person, not only they find fault with everyone, not only number two, they behave or, uh, yeah, they try to bring you down with them to their level. But number three, the negative uh, any person with negative energy, they tolerate little to no disappointment. They can handle very little disappointment. It's on the screen. In other words, when somebody, someone tolerates little to no disappointment, uh, that, that's a clear sign of negative energy. And you ask why? Well, because the only way they can effectively show how unable they are of letting go of their disappointments is by holding on to them until they affect them uh, so badly that they feel suffocated with it. And that mm. means they constantly, that, that constant negative thought a pattern weigh them down and by their way down and now anything that's disappointing becomes overwhelming somehow we forget that disappointments is a part of life yes yeah yeah that, 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 we have to teach our children that everything is not going to go the way we want them to mm -hmm. you know and 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 so a, a negative person but they, 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 they can't handle very much disappointment in their lives. Uh, no, I didn't say we like to be disappointed, but we have to deal with it. Yes. We have to mm -hmm. deal with it. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to deal with it. Uh, here's another thing. Number four, a negative person can't handle criticism. Mm -hmm. Now, no one likes to be criticized, but you got to, all of us will be. I know I'm criticized. If you do one thing, some people will like it, some won't. But you've got to do, particularly for the man or woman of God, we've got to do what we believe that the Lord wants us to do and have to trust mm -hmm. him to work out the other part of it. Amen. Mm -hmm. but, but a negative person uh, can't handle criticism. Uh, they, they, they fail to take criticism constructively. Yeah. Uh, yes. they don't listen at all. Or they take it too much to heart, and then it bothers them. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, somebody might. Does anybody? How do you handle criticism? Any somebody online here? How do you handle it? Or are you able to handle it? Or are you better able to handle it now than you used to? Or maybe you're not. I'm just asking. Is anybody? How, how would you want to talk about criticism? How do you I deal with criticism? <laughs> When I was in college and we had to do a lot of critiquing artwork, yeah, yeah. I uh, learned to handle it pretty pretty well. Okay, because I look at it as constructive criticism sometimes, and plus it depends on where it's coming from and who it's coming from, okay, and how, it, and how they come across with it. Yeah, okay. right. So it just depends. You know, some people use criticism to try to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. But if right. you if you are a, a, a person who knows themselves and is not uh, intimidated easily, you know um, that that's what it is. You know yeah. that it's not um, meant to be a, a, a constructive. You know, and it's not meant to be something to uh help you right. so right it just it depends on how yeah, it, depends. It, it depends yeah pastor yes uh -huh. i think it also i think it also depends on who's the person criticizing um for me uh i i'm getting better i'm not gonna say i'm there yet but i handle it better if it with from a person that i have a good relationship with that i can trust if mm -hmm. it's a person that's a negative person that's 
handle, you know, criticizing me. Right. I do have a tendency kind of to disregard and even get upset. Saying right. like, no, are you trying to criticize when I know you're doing boom, 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 or whatever. Right, so, right, right. You're not the one, right? Yeah. So I think for me, it, it it depends on the person who's delivering the message, a person that I trust that's you know has the best interest at heart. Right. Um, right. Mm -hmm. and Denise was saying you were saying that who it is and how you were. She was saying something like that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and timing. Say it. I missed it. Timing. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Are we yeah. doing it publicly? Are we doing it privately? You know, all yeah. those kind of things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Public, yeah. Pu public negativity uh, is, is now that's not good at all. I would know. Mm -hmm. I would, you don't know that you're going you're gonna to lose me and, and you no, know, you're going to talk publicly. No, we shouldn't do that. Right. right. No, we shouldn't do that at all. And see, sometimes we're talking about negative energy coming from a person. The enemy sometimes will use negative energy coming from a person directed toward an overly sensitive person. Because some of us mm -hmm. are too sensitive. And mm -hmm. the slightest mm -hmm. thing that goes get it tears you down. And God mm -hmm. sometimes wants us to, to, to toughen up, for lack of better words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Because it's ahead. like who saying it, what they saying it, how they are saying it. Because sometimes yeah. the way they come off, it can be a good thing, but they come off in a bad way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you perceive it differently because sometimes it's like, okay, they saying this, but it's the way you saying it towards me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The way I'm receiving the it. The delivery. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You're right. Right. I'm hearing all the feedback, and that's absolutely right. Delivery, who's it coming from, mm -hmm. the timing, all of those things fit in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We can take it from a person that we know that's pretty much, I'm using the word fair minded, and they're saying that we say, okay, you know, and if they, you were they saying it because they see something. I've heard a person tell, say, let me speak to you in your ear. I said, man, um, I know you think it. I'm going to tell you a person, Brother Sam Wallace. <laughs> he used to come to me on the side and tell me things. <laughs> that other people would say, and I would reject it. But when I heard it from him, I recept, received it because I believe it came from a pure heart. Yeah. yeah. I said mm -hmm. that publicly. I said, he, he would tell me something that somebody else would say. And I said, I would, for lack of better words, say, get away from me. And he would come and say something. And I said, okay, he saw something and he's coming from a constructive, something yep. that's going to help me. And I would receive, I said, thanks, Dad. Yep. Yeah. Because it was the person, and, he, and 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 as far as timing, he would make it where it's just me and him, or he could talk to me privately, and I would listen to him, and I would respond appropriately. Mm -hmm. Coming from the right person. Mm -hmm. Here, here's another thing about a negative person, or negative people with negative energy. Listen to this, you're going to have to, they're afraid to take risk. Mm. Listen. Um, all right. Let, uh, uh, this is this is Bible study. What does it mean? That what is the word risk? How will we uh, define that? Somebody. What is it, would, what is the word risk? I would I would say risk is like doing something that's 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 new or out of the normal. Okay. 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 Brother Reeves, I like that. Something that's yeah. new, taking risks and something that's new or out of the normal. Who else? What, what does it mean? Putting yourself out there, going out there on a limb. Um, something that right. they, okay. Know, mm -hmm. Going out on a limb. Somebody, what did he say? To take a challenge. A challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Taking a challenge. Yeah. Okay. All these good answers. Anybody else? Risk. Taking, a, <laughs> taking a chance and looking for new endeavors in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Tanya, that was my niece. I think I was. Okay. Yeah, okay. that was me. Okay, that was Tanya. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, risk, risk, risk. How about this being a, a definition for risk? Um, uh, it can be risk can be defined as the possibility that something bad or unpleasant will happen. Yeah. Taking a risk. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. knowing the outcome. I, I don't know what's going down. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm taking a risk. Um, somebody else, I don't want to cut that. All of you got great answers. Taking a risk. 
and 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 a negative person with negative energy is afraid to take risks. And I'm going to qualify that in a minute because somebody said, "Well, who wants to take?" Sometimes God says we need we have to take risks. Right. Yes. Exactly. Life. I, I know life we don't want to. Life is a risk. Yeah. Oh my God, we really hitting on it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> when you come, listen. I, I, now here we go. Pastor, I thought you said we supposed to be positive. I am positive. But when you go out the door, you taking a risk. You, don't, you, mean, you yes. don't even have to go out the door. Well, that's true. <laughs> no, hey. serious. No, no. But, 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 but you really make yeah. it. That's really true. You open the look, door. I, look, I told you before. I was in my house, minding my yeah. own business. And somebody a street over shot up in the air and the bullet came through my window. Yeah. 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 You know? So, and look. Was it was it just on the news not too long a couple of days ago? Man opened his door talking to somebody, got in an argument, and he shot him. Yeah. Every day yeah. is a risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, everybody, I love the I love the responses from everybody because risk sometimes taking measured and balanced risk is proof. Of our faith in God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So taking Amen. Measured and balanced risk is proof of our faith in God. And we yeah. have to sometimes ask ourselves, am I prepared to take risk for God when he asked me to? Yeah. Because guess what? Yeah. You've ever, ever heard me say we need to stop asking God because it sounds, uh, you know, uh, Lord, use me to your glory. Be careful. Amen. Mm -hmm. What you ask for. You know, that's a good thing, but be mindful yes. of what you. And then I see people say, give me the patience of Job. And, you know, that sounds very admirable. But do you know what Job went through? Come on now. You, you know, give me the patience of Job. Um, uh, 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 what risk is, 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 is God asking us sometimes? Uh, to take, uh, 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 to do something so that his name might be glorified and his kingdom might be extended. Let me see if I can give you an example. Abraham's faith, yes. which led him to agree to, yes. to take the risk for God, earned him the name friend of God. Yes. You know, Abraham, <laughs> take your son, your only son up there, I'm paraphrasing, and, and you're going to have to kill him. How, wait a minute, kill him? I thought I'm going to be the father of a multitude of nations. I mean, he kills him. Well, how am I going? You know I mean, that's the human thing. Mm -hmm. but, but I'm taking a risk. Now I'm believing what God said, but humanly speaking, it ain't making sense. Mm -hmm. You don't need to see my seed through my seed. We're going to have many nations. But now you tell me to, to, to kill and then you know that ultimately had a ram right. in the bush. But that was a risk. Right. All right? Uh, well, God uh, tells you, excuse me, God go tells you the same thing. He said, uh, trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. There and, you go. Yes. And the, and the other thing is like, it's a it's a risk when you take and go to God because you have two choices. Go with him, not knowing whether he's good or bad, or going with the world, and that's all you know. Yeah. So do you give yeah. up what you know for something that you have to learn about? So you have to learn to trust in God, and that's a risk until you get to know that He is yes. true to His word. Yes. And yeah. It never and, returns void. And and that's true. That sister, I'm glad we. I, well, I'm glad this is Bible study. We we sure we got some Bible some Bible heads in here, and, and that's awesome. Because for a person that has been who, whose trust has been misguided or uh, what would it in the world coming up, and right. and they learn you learn you can't trust nobody. He, yeah. he on the level and all, and then you come now, and somebody says, you know, in in order you get saved, you are gonna have to trust God, and and then they quote that script Proverbs that 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 is a trust in the Lord. That's a risk because I learned not to trust in anybody. Yes, yeah, you're saying trust in the Lord. See, I don't know Him like that right now. Yeah. I don't right. know him like that right now. As a matter of fact, each of us under on this line here, we have different levels of knowledge and understanding of who God is right now as I speak. Amen. Mm -hmm. Our levels yeah. of trust 
are not the same. Pulpit to the door, ceiling to the floor. Come on, I know I'm talking this night. Our levels of trust, we can be trusting God in different levels. Amen. Trust to one person may mean one thing. Trust to another might be, well, I got to see a little bit of something. Somebody else said, well, I used to think that way, but now I just put it. You know, everybody has a different life will develop. Life will nurture. Life, life will, 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 will. What about life will, I'm trying to think, life will teach you how to yes. trust. Yes, yes. Ups and downs, ins and outs, yes. you know, and, and, and sometimes the more difficult the life challenges have been and 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 and, and how you've come through uh, will differ from, from one individual to another. Yeah. See, um, being a risk taker isn't just about being impulsive and going with your gut, gut feeling, but it also involves being able to take, here we go, calculated risk. Now, Amen. as it comes to the Lord, I've been trusting in the world and what they say. I've got to take a risk to believe what yes. they say or what I've been told that God is, trusting God is the way I should go. I've been trusting Amen. this, yes. that, and the other thing. Yes. And I say, since you, why not take, why don't you take the chance and trust God like you've been trusting? Him? What are we afraid of that? You know, taking a risk. Uh, 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 negative energy people, they don't want to take take a risk. As a matter of fact, listen, faith is activated through risk. Yes, it yes. is. Yes. Mm -hmm. My faith, yes. My faith is activated as a result of us taking risk. It yes. has nothing to do with a feeling. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's nothing to do with a feeling. It, it, what faith is, it's telling your emotions and doubt that I trust God enough in this risky situation to take yes. action and depend on him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Faith is sometimes you got to speak to yourself. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Tell yourself. Come on, y'all talking about I don't talk to mother. Sometimes you got to tell yourself, shut up and listen. Amen. Yeah, the, the, self, the self talk get in the way a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yourself, come on, let's be honest. Self-talk yourself, what what I've been raised with, the, the input that I've gathered over the years, certain mm -hmm. people, negative people, negative energy, and, mm -hmm. and it's do this, that, and the boom, boom, no, no. Shut up. I mean, like what I mean, you maybe literally you have, I'm talking about figuratively, maybe literally you have to say, shut up, self. Now, I know if somebody yes. was to walk in your house and you the only one in, they hear you in the room talking about, shut up, self, they might walk out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a good thing. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? You say, who you holding? So I'm here by myself. Just open the door and come in when you get here. So you come in an hour later and they forgot their tape. And they tell me, self, shut up. And you come say, oh, no, I'm going out. I'm out of here. You know, but but it's telling your emotions and the doubt that has been triggered by your self talk that I trust God. Sometimes you gotta say, "Devil, look, I talk to devil. You a liar." Yes. I'm yeah. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. do do that right yeah. now. I don't know who else. I said, "Devil, you're." Like, and guess what? I'm not feeling it, but I'm telling it because I believe what God said. Yes. Does anybody hear me? Yeah. Devil, yeah. you are a liar. Yeah. I, I, you yes. know, uh, 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 I trust what God says. You are lying. I'm trusting God to get me through this. Yes. Anybody ever said yes. that? Yes. I don't see a way. I don't know a way. I don't and look. It may not be humanly speaking, but the God I serve, He's able. Yes. 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 You got to talk to David. Said you got to talk to yourself. Build yourself yes. up. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You and know yourself. Yes, encourage yourself in the Lord. That's right. Thank you, Crystal. We, listen, we have to have enough faith in God's grace. Yes, thank the Lord. That even when we don't make the idea, or we, we can't see it. We just believe it because God said it. Amen. 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 I, I can't see it, but God said it. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all know what Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, you don't have to put it up, Pam, but Hebrews chapter, uh, 11, 11, verse 1, the New King James says, now faith, listen, is the substance of things hoped for, 
Mm -hmm. The evidence of things not seen. I can't mm -hmm. see it. I'm just hoping. Yeah. Yes. And then the NL, uh, the New Living Translations of Hebrews 11.1 1 says, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. Mm -hmm. It is the mm -hmm. evidence of things we cannot see. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping now, hope somebody said, well, hope, don't you believe my, listen, on the, we've got our hope. My hope is built on nothing less yes. than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not yes. trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name. Sometimes my faith's got, look, it has to build itself on levels of experience, yes. Yes. of ups and downs in life, yes. of twists and turns in life, of yes. disappointments and challenges in life. Yes. The reason I know that God can bring me out of this is because all I do is start 69. I remember some stuff. Yeah, yes. man, man. Yes. You know, I, I might not know how I'm going to get out of this crystal. I may not know whoever, else, how I'm going, but I got, look, let me just remember, look, sanctified and man, I was in a situation, the names have changed, perhaps the situation, but I was under this same magnitude of stress and worry mm -hmm. and all this mm -hmm. stuff. I remember three years ago, you can put your hand on what it was, and it didn't yeah. look like I was going to get out. I should have been in jail. I should have been locked up. I should have been dead. I should have been this, that, and the other. Everybody else got caught, and somehow I walked away, and God paid a way out of no way, and I just believe God's going to make a way now. Amen. And amen. 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 Anybody ever been there where you listen? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just yeah. going back on what God has done in the past. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm just going back. Mm. As a matter of fact, um, Hebrews chapter 11, verses 7 to 12. If we can try, Pam, I don't think I gave you that. I don't think I gave you that. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 7 through 12. I got the New Living Translation. I'll read it if it doesn't come. Hebrews chapter 11. Because we did 11 1, but verses 7 to 12, we're talking about the faith thing. Hebrews chapter 11, no verses answer. 7 to 12. I got it here. I can read, but I'm trying to let some of you guys read it uh, if it comes up. If, if somebody okay. has it, who's got it? New Living Hebrews Translation. 11, you said 7. Oh, it's on the screen coming up. Yeah, will you seven, read it, Reverend Pointer? Okay. 7 through what? Uh, 7 uh, through 12. Okay. Talking about this faith thing. How important it is. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, bared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is according to faith. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Verse 10. Um, by faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man and him as good as, de as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky and multitude, innumerable as the sand, which is by the seashore. Amen. 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 How about a 90-year-old woman uh, hearing about you going to have a baby? <laughs> 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 I'm not a hundred year old man thinking you're gonna be a daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that takes some. I, I know you. Uh, uh, I hear. Uh, uh, I, said, <laughs> I mean, that takes some. Some that. that, that listen, I, I, now I'm glad I don't read too much about. They went around bragging about. It. I think this between it. And I, I, somebody might know something. I don't think they went around. The Lord told me I'm having it. They just knew that the Lord said it. I, 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 I have to read that passage again to see if they went and told me. <laughs> but that's something I would do between me and the Lord. But the yeah. thing I'm trying to make mm -hmm. is, 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 is this faith thing. Um, let, let me, because I want, I want you guys to, how has, can anyone on this line think of, tell a testimony, for lack of better words, how your faith has increased and 
what precipitate what happened that increased your faith in the Lord? Because we're talking about taking risks and, and people with negative energy don't really want to take any risk because uh, one of the things that they don't, they think they're going to lose out on something. And, yeah. and, 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 you, you know, uh, they don't want to take uh, any risks. Uh, you know, I might lose, but if you're going to walk in the Lord and be obedient to the Lord, we in, in Abyssinian, I've got to take, we've got to take certain risks. Somebody say, Amen. I'm taking a risk. I'm taking a risk. Of, if I decide to stay there, you're taking Amen. a risk. Come on, somebody. You're taking Amen. a risk. Amen. You're believing yeah. God for something else. If you just went by what you see. Amen. You're taking a risk. Amen. Has anybody, how, how has your faith uh, evolved from where it used to be to perhaps another level? What happened? Is anybody, you know, maybe it's maybe you don't want it. It's too much. I mean, has anybody? Can anybody say, "Yeah, I remember when I used to couldn't do, but now I believe more." What, what, what happened to, 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 to increase your faith, or you know, is it? I don't know. Maybe that's when know. they told me when I heard them told me I was dead, and I knew okay. that I wasn't, and I'm mainly I can't say nothing now. When right. they get a different diagnosis the next month. Right, right. Every right. time I go in, I'm getting a different diagnosis or getting, you know, something else is wrong. I yes. just and I did it yesterday in the um doctor's office. Just sat right there while they said I had to go get the special. No, she said I had to go get my colleagues because there's something wrong with your eye. And it wasn't uh -huh. there last week, two weeks ago. And right. she got out of there. My legs started shaking, and then I said, Nope, I'm not gonna sit up here and worry about when they come back in here. I'm a trust guy again. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I know he's going to do it again. And sure yeah. enough, he came back with the specialist. And yes. he looked at my eye and he said, it's not what she had mentioned. This is what's going on with your eye. And I want you to do this, that, and another. And I said, you know what? Thank you very much. And I almost can't sit down feel like going because I didn't want to hear nothing. You right. know, nothing. Negative. And I went. I got there with the two minutes of my appointment, and I continued trusting them. And I thanked them, and I kept going, smiling down the hallway. And a lady asked me, she said, why are you smiling so big? I said, God, I have Jesus. And she said, oh, that's what you got to do. You got to pray. Yeah. And I did. I just sat there and just continued praying while they was out the room. Yeah. And I trusted Amen. Amen. Them. Amen. Yeah. And, and yes. Thank you, Sister uh, Autry. And that's a powerful testimony. But guess what? Yeah. Let, me, let me give you another uh, uh, how faith uh, taking risk. Faith has to do with not what we see. Okay. Amen. Not by sight, but by faith. And let me give yeah. you a story uh, of, of an individual. Back in Vietnam, going way back. That was back in the Vietnam War. And and a guy gave a testimony how when he got was draft and he got on the you know Vietnam uh, out into the bush, whatever they called it. And this other guy was saying, Okay, I'm gonna call Ruby or whatever he called him. Like he was, I only got 21 days to go and I'm out of here. You know, he just spent his year or whatever, 21 days and I'm out of here. And he was joyful about it. He said, but I'm trusting God to get me through the next 21 days because you get killed the next five seconds. And guess what happened? Some kind of bomb or something came. This is the guy getting the testimony about the guy that said he only had 21 days. Regardless of what happened, he had to trust God to get him through the 21. He said, God got me through almost this whole year. So I'm having to trust God to get me through my faith to get me through. What a, the bomb came, blew the guy's legs off, one of his arms off, and his eye. Jesus, Jesus. This is the guy that only had 21 days. Jesus. Jesus. And his friend. Jesus. Shoot me. Kill me. He said, I, I, I can't I go home. Tonight. Kill me. He said, I'm picking pieces. And then he said, the guy said, what you said, you had faith in God. God 
didn't, he betrayed you. The guy says, no. Though the outward man perish. <laughs> uh -huh. Inwardly, I'm being Jesus. renewed. Amen. Day by day. This Jesus. man is in pieces. By the way, he died. He didn't get home. I guess he got home with that way like that. But he started, his faith took him to another level. Amen. Disappointment, I get, man, that's, it's got to be another word. Disappointment. 21 days, now he gets blown off. Both his legs get blown yeah, off. Yeah. One of his arms and his eye. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. In his eye. And he told his friend, listen, I, meant, I forgot to tell you this. He said, look, shoot me, man. And his friend pulled out the gun to shoot her, and the commander said, you can't do that. He mm. said, the, 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 whatever, command, uh, lieutenant, the captain, whatever. He asked, he said, you look at it. He said, you still can't do it. You can't kill it. The guy said, my face. He said, man, I thought you said God, you know, 21 days. I mean, he, he was kind of insinuating. He said, God let you down, man. Now you got all blown to pieces. What kind of God is that? He said, wait a minute. My faith is still intact. Though the outward man. Only the Holy Ghost could give him that. Though the outward man. I'm in peace. Yes. But yes. inwardly, my faith yes. has increased. Yes. And he went to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, now I, I, I'm sure his family was, you know, I mean, devastated. But I'm talking mm -hmm. this faith thing. It will mm -hmm. move beyond in such a, uh, that's why I asked is anybody, uh, 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 Sister Abigail, about the, 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 the uh, diagnosis and, and, and all my dreams, this, that, and the other. But you know what? Just in case God don't do what you thought he was going to do, yes. God is still yes. good. Yes, Amen. Thank Amen. you. Yeah. Thank he God. don't do what I thought he would and should do. I don't know why. Yeah. I told you this. God don't owe none of us nothing. He, he, said, he don't owe you and That's me nothing. anything. Do y'all hear me? Pastor uh, 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 pointed, God don't owe me anything. Because, but because of his goodness, he keeps on blessing us over yes. and over and over and over. But he don't yes. owe me anything because oh, he man. saved me and I still disappoint him. Yes. yes, I'm still doing stuff that I'm still working on all these years, but God still says I'll never leave nor forsake you. Thank you, yes. Lord. Thank you, even Lord. when you disobey me, even when you don't do what I tell you to do, I'm still you, faithful. Thank you, Guess what? To his word. Yes, in his Amen. word. Yes, yes. But well, you know, Pastor, um, it took me a long time to understand the story about the woman with the issue of blood and how yeah. Yeah. she was delivered. Yeah. And I kept hearing and hearing and I kept trying to understand it. Yeah. And then one day I realized it was her faith that healed her. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It wasn't the fact that Jesus had magic or performed, you know, miracles or not, right? Her, it was her faith. And I it right. took me a long time to understand that. Yes. And when I and when I understood it, it it just gave me a a, a whole nother different yes. uh you know, it just built up perspective and it built up my uh my my Christian faith. confidence. Yes. And it just right. taught me a whole lot of about what faith is about. It's within right, you. Because, Denise, because this woman had to overcome so many. She was in it first off, and people don't want her to be around and 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 and, 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 and issue of blood all those years. And 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 you know, people back particularly you, you, you had ew, they, they don't even want you near. And she's pressing on, and when she touched him, uh, uh they said something about he said, Who touched him? Yes. Who touched all these people grabbing? No, that faith, somebody touched me. Yes. Amen. Yes. One day, all these people, y'all pulling that. Now, somebody that's faith has, yes. has, has, has pressed on in yes. spite of. Yes. I believe in God. I don't care what nobody else says. I, yeah. I believe in God for this, in this, through this. Yes. yes. And, and Pastor, she really believed in God because. 
She just wanted to touch his robe. She didn't actually yeah. lay hand on him. Yeah. Yeah. Lay hand if on I just touched touch the hem of his garment. Just touched the hem of his garment. Amen. You know? yeah. she, was, she had that much faith. Listen to yeah. that. Listen to that, Chris. Yeah. Listen to that. See, again, faith is activated through risk. Yes. It's yes. not a feeling. It's overriding your feelings, your emotions, the doubt, and it's saying, it's, it, you know, I, I, I trust God enough in this risky situation. I'm going to take action and depend on him. Mm -hmm. you, you know, and, uh, again, the question goes out, is your faith? Mm -hmm. Where is your faith? class yes. Open the door tonight. Yes. yes. Is your faith where it should be or is it is it building up to where it should be in your marriage, in your relationship, with your health, with your finances, yes. with your yes. family, you know, whatever yes. you go on and on and on. With the, 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 the way things are going on now, it's, it's the politics, the negativism, the energy that's going out. People are talking. That's why I'm talking about truth. Y'all pray for me on Sunday morning. Truth is, 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 is dying in some places. It's dead. It's just yeah. doing anything and saying anything. And yeah. in the name of Jesus, some of these people. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I, I used to say, giving God a bad name. You can't give God a bad name. His name is above every other name. You really can't give Amen. him a bad name. It, 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 just make, it, it, it just doesn't look well for you to say, I know the Lord. And then you're doing this, that, and the other. But God yeah. is still, and we keep saying it, God is still in control. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, now, we try to get in God's business. Lord, how come God says you can't handle a little bit of children? Out of my you can't handle it. Try to figure out this, that, and the other. You know, no. That's the next one. Holy said he's sovereign. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do whatever yeah. he wants to do. When he wants to, ever yes. how he chooses to do it. Yes. Yes. Here's another thing about negative people. They're I think this is the next one. They're secretive but curious. And I and, and I think that's oh pick the label things as bad and are pessimistic. Yeah. That was number six, and I was on number seven. Quick to label things as bad and are pes pessimistic, and we already kind of looked at that. But number seven, they're secretive but curious. And what do I mean by that? Negative people are secretive with everything that concerns them, but right. they're also curious about other people's affairs or other things. Mm -hmm. And since they're not willing to reveal anything about themselves, they'll always try to you can tell somebody's trying to use you to get stuff out of you too anybody mm -hmm. ever told you people that was trying to talk to you to see what they can get out of you yeah you know mm -hmm. see <laughs> it, a, a, a negative person they 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 they, they will they, they secretive and they keep secrets. You know, everything yeah. that's supposed to be secret is not a secret. <laughs> what you think is secret is an open scan. I know in heaven, but you didn't even got to go all the way ahead. A lot of stuff you think is secret, people all around you know. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, people know the secret. They don't know. No, they, they know you, 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 you got a problem in your marriage and relationship with your finances, with this, that people, what, what, what is the word for it? Um, it's a word, uh, uh, maybe I can't think of it. When you know stuff, discerning, you can tell, you can pick it up. Right, right. You know, people mm -hmm. tell you things, and then again, you don't go to say, well, I know better. You just let them talk because that's the way they're handling it. But we need to understand that negativity or negative energy can spread like an epidemic. Yes. If you allow it to. Yes, it will. If you allow it to hang around too long. And it can also affect your health. Yes, it will. Let me give you some biblical steps to overcome negative thinking. And I think we'll finish this up tonight. Psalms 119, verse 112, the contemporary English version. 
Psalms 119, verse 112, the CEV, Contemporary English Version. I only picked that because I just like the way it says it. Psalm 119, <laughs> verse 112. I got the Contemporary English Version. Psalm 119, verse 112, and I'll say, I'll read it if um, CEV translation. You want me to read it? You didn't come up yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who, who's got? Who got? Okay. You said the CEV though version, right? Yeah, contemporary English version. Yeah, I got. It. You know, I got it right now. I'm looking what at verse, it. What verse is it? Uh, one twelve. One nineteen. One twelve. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. It says, "I have made up my mind to obey your laws forever, no matter what." I have made up my mind. You got to have a made up mind. The Lord, I've made up my mind to obey your laws, whatever you say in your word. Listen, I may not always do it, but I want to. My mind, I want to do it. I made up my mind to obey your laws forever, no matter what. And in other words, people... <laughs> Who learn how to fight the battle in their minds live more effective lives because that's what it is a battle of the mind. Hey, yes, it is. If you want to learn to manage, I'm talking about people, people want to get in your head. Negative energy want to get to you in your head, in your mind. Oh, yeah. That's that's what they, they, they want to get to you, you know. And, 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 and um, People who learn how to fight the battle in their minds live more effective lives. And if you want to learn to manage your mind, you have to be delivered, here we go, from destructive thoughts. And that isn't easy because we're in a battle with three enemies trying to control your thoughts. Y'all better get this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got at least three enemies and it's nothing deep. As soon as I tell you, you're going to say that, that are trying to control your thoughts and minds, even as we speak on a daily basis basis. And the first enemy is your old nature, your old self. Talking about the three enemies trying to control your thoughts. And Paul said in, 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 in the Romans chapter 7, verse 23, I got the New Living Translation. It says, there is another power within me that is at war with my mind. And this power makes me a slave to the sin that is still within me. That's the New Living Translation. Romans 7, 23. Your mind, the enemy was a battle for your mind. And sometimes the enemy will use other people with negative energy to control your mind. That's why you had joy, you were filled with joy, and now you're down and you, you, you no longer have joy. You, 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 were, you were excited, you were, you know, happy and all that kind of stuff and until he or she came around uh, Romans 7 23 that is I see it's coming up toxic. say it again I'm sorry just speaking out loud toxic oh yeah toxic right toxic. And, and you see it on there somebody see that but there yeah. is another power yeah. within <laughs> me and do you ever find yourself doing things you really don't want to yeah, yeah. That y'all yeah. got quiet. I guess I'm not sure. Some things, yeah. you really want, but you do it because you, you 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 we've done things we really didn't. We've done things we really didn't want to do, or we know was wrong to do, but we yeah. did it anyhow. Yes, amen. Okay. So the first enemy is your old nature, you. The Ephesians chapter what is it? Four says, "Put off the old man." I've told people over and over and over again, I said, you need, don't mess with people in the church because they say this, that, and the other, because <clears throat> we still have an old man or woman. They keep under wraps. They, they, the, uh, the old, the monster. <laughs> I, yeah. I call it a monster because some of us, know that you, you don't want to, and, and, and that's why people go off when you, yeah. you keep messing with them. They, it's like, well, they went crazy yeah. because they have, you had this monster lashed down and 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 the more see whatever nature you feel and feed the most is going to be the dominating. 
Amen. Mm. Amen. The flesh, the old man, that's what's going to be that's the right. but if you the spirit of God. Right. Allow God, the Holy Spirit, to nourish you and nurture you. Then that's going to be the dominant control. Paul said the thing I said I wasn't going to do no more. I yeah. need it. <laughs> okay. But then the second enemy, we only got one more, we'll be done. The second enemy, what's the first enemy? I just the said it. Self. Second yeah. enemy is Satan, the devil. Mm -hmm. The devil cannot force you and I to do anything. I'm talking about true believers. But he can make suggestions. He's trying to get the mind thing. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, he can make suggestions. Uh, they don't want you to have the, you know, that that's what you need. You know, uh, it, 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 and, and suggestions are, are powerful. He can constantly plant negative thoughts in your mind. Mm -hmm. And he'll use other people, listen, or what you watch on TV. Or he'll just throw a thought in your mind. And that's yeah. from the pulpit to the door, ceiling to the floor. None of us, pastor's not exempt. You are not exempt. So he'll use the enemy to plant it. Yeah, they just trying to keep it. You keep on putting money and they just throwing, you don't know what's going on with this, that, and that. Come on, whatever thought you can think negative, that's what will go in your mind. Yes. And if you're not, listen, if you're not trusting God and say, because you, the only reason is not because somebody's forcing you to do, you're doing it because you're by faith believing that what's being done or going on is the right thing or heading the right way with the right people. And the third re enemy is the world's value system, the world. And, 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 and the Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, NIV I have here, says, for everything in the world, 16. the lust of the flesh, <laughs> the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Amen. And with enemies like that, no wonder people struggle with discouragement yes. and depression and despair and failure yes so how do we fight this battle i'm glad you asked second corinthians chapter 10 hope y'all taking these notes second corinthians chapter 10 <laughs> verses 3 to 5 the new living translation second, you corinthians. second corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 4 and 5 and i'm looking at the new living translation nlt Brother Revis, you want to read? I heard you say it was. What? If it, it's coming Which up, is it? it's 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 coming up on the screen right there. If you can see, uh, what verse? Uh, it's three through five, and it's on the screen. I don't know if you okay. can see it. Yeah, three, it's four, it's small, five. but I could. Yeah, I think I can make it out. <laughs> okay. Three, four, and five. All right, Amen. We are human. Oh. Okay, yep. we are human. There you go. There we go. But we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the stronghold of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. Amen. 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 In other words, you and I, we all have a choice. Your mind, my mind has to listen to us, to me. God just didn't give us a mind. He gave us a will also. I don't have to do everything that comes to mind. No, what does God say about what I'm thinking? It, that, that is our governing the word of God, that is what keeps us. It's alive. It's, it's powerful. It keeps us focused and keeps us straight. We're Thank talking about how negative energy uh, 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 leads to contributes to depression and how we can know. And sometimes what I've been talking about, that can be us or has been us at some point in time. 
negative. God doesn't want us to be negative. Negativity does not enhance us. It, yeah. it, it brings us down. It yeah. brings us down to a worldly level. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To a less than God. God wants us to see. Be, no, he wants us to move beyond what we see by trusting what he's already said. Amen. Any questions? We're done. Amen. Any questions? Anybody? Everybody been blessed or is okay? I'm blessed. It's so much, it's so yeah. much more to have going, but we. I, I felt tonight we need to move on to something else. And uh, can, can they put that screen back up? The screen that had the one through seven? Okay, uh, I don't know. If can you hear the Pam? The screen you just had. Um, what was that? The, what you just read? Was no, it? no. Oh, yeah. the oh one that, oh, oh. negative energy in a person. Yeah, the signs. Oh, the signs. Oh, the uh, signs. Yeah. Signs. Yeah. Of negative energy. Yeah, negative energy. Right. Yeah. The screen. He wants to. Yeah, I, I think right it's there, coming back I'm up missing, now. Yeah, I yeah, missed number it. seven. Okay. Secretive but curious. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that? Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right, Sister Pam. We got it. And 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 again, all of those things, those are things you're talking about homework. You can go look at it for yourself. And God will yeah. open up other scriptures and other yes, passages and, and give you even more understanding. Amen. 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 We 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 just we just picking at uh negative energy i mean there's so much more you can go on for that for six months but uh, uh i just wanted you we could but uh there it is but but we we stop right there and we're going to look at mm -hmm. so, so much to talk about in bible study oh yeah and 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 we learn and we learn together we grow together that's why amen, I, amen. amen. you guys i mean crystal all you guys said look come on talk back to me I learned some things seeing it from a different perspective. I said, okay, I never thought of about it from the or it 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 corroborates it. It 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 it, 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 it I said, okay, that this confirmation. Yes. You know, yes. Everybody, no one ought to be in a point where we know it all, particularly yeah. not the yeah. No, we learn from each other. Am I right about it? Amen. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's 845. And uh, again, we want to remember to keep um uh, the Presley family there in South Carolina, um, with the uh, the uh, the uh, service of the brother Leonard uh, Presley. Some of you may he used to live right across the street from Abyssinia, but he's been gone for a number of years. But anyway, he passed away, and, and the Minister Presley is doing the eulogy on Saturday, mm -hmm. and uh, so we want to keep uh, the Presley family and and the other family members uh, in prayer. Uh, I did say, uh, who's having the operation in the month? Uh, uh, yeah. Keanu? yeah, yeah, she's having uh, surgery. And my brother, I don't know if he got Jerome. He was going to try to get on tonight. I know last week he tried, but if he didn't uh, want to keep him in prayer, he's getting better, getting stronger. And he did, uh, he might have got on tonight. I don't know. But we want to continue to pray one for another. Pray yeah. for me, yeah. Pastor, please. And, uh, and uh, let's pray for, if I forgot anybody, everybody's important. There's no one person more important than anyone else. Everybody's important. Crystal's Amen. family, everybody's family is Amen. important. So, Amen. So, Thank you. Yes, Brother Revis, we're praying for you, and I know you're praying for us. And, Amen. And, and, Amen. Amen. We need each other. Trust me. Yes, we do. We need each other. We need each other. Okay, who's going to close us out um, uh, with a word of prayer? Uh, pray for me as I continue with the, what is it, part two of this week on truth. I need to pray. I really, really do. Time we start to talk in schools and think of the enemy he gets mad, angry, yes, and I'm yeah. afraid of him. But I'm just a realist. A realist. I know he comes at you, wants yeah. us to shut up, but we don't shut up. Then we're gonna stand up in the Lord. Yes, Amen. Amen. Who's gonna close us out? We're done for tonight. anything. Did I forget anything, Pat? The key, Pat. Did I forget anything? Anybody? Uh, no. Don't let me go. I should have said something. Thank God for the soul food uh, last week. Wonder. Yeah. Thank you, everyone that participated. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank, thank, you thank you, everybody. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Who's going to close us out? I'm all jumping at the bit. I know. All right.
<laughs> I'll close you know it out. I'll okay. Thank you, Danny. Okay. <laughs> Father Amen. God, we come before you right now just to say thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you for another opportunity to learn and study your word, Father God. We thank yes. you for each person that's on this call right now, God. Anything that yeah. they are going through, Father God, we pray that you just give it to them, that they give it to you, turn it over to you, and just look to the hills from what's coming they help, God. Yes. I pray that you would just continue to bless each and every one that's on this line, Lord. Thank you, I pray Lord. that you would just keep them from danger seen and unseen. We thank you for past the yes. Father God. We thank you for thank first you. lady. We thank, thank you for you. just being the God that you are who sits high and look low, Father yes. God. Yes. We thank you for the strength that we get when we're weak, Father God. We thank you for just yes. allowing this study of negative people and how to determine who's negative and what to do when we know that they are negative. So we pray, Father God, against the toxic people in our lives. We pray, Father God, for the negative people in our lives, God, that you would just keep yes. turning it around for yes. them, Father God. If yes. you turn yes. it around for us, Lord, we know that you can do it for Amen. them. So God, right now, yes. God, we are grateful. We are thankful. We just yes. thank you for all that you have done and all you continue yes. to do, God. And we definitely yes. thank you for not allowing last night to be our last night. So Thank God, you, we Lord. just praise your name yes, Lord. in Thank advance you, Lord. for who you are and for what you're doing, Lord. And again, if anyone is going through anything, God, let them look to the hills for oh, what their help. Let Amen. them turn it back to you. Yes. Let them be still and let them just yes. allow you to do what you do. Yes. In yes. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bless yes. you. Bless you. Stay tuned in. We'll see you on Sunday, guys. Amen. 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 God bless. Amen. God bless. All right.